When we are in trouble, it's easy to panic. We can quickly forget about God, abandon our most basic theological convictions, and simply use any means possible to resolve our problem. David shows us a better way. Though enemies, uh, as he records in Psalm 25, were poised to exalt over him, he starts this psalm by affirming his commitment to the Lord. David waited for God, trusted in him, and lifted up his soul to him, he says in the first few verses. Now, there may be meaningful differences between these phrases, but what is the overall idea? David was submitting himself into the care of a covenant-keeping God, as verse 14 says. His enemies, meanwhile, trusted in their treachery. They abandoned integrity to get what they wanted. To some, like David's enemies, it seems risky to trust in the Lord. But David was sure that it was his enemies who would be ashamed, ultimately, by their choice. In his trouble, then, David turned to the Lord as the truest of all companions. He genuinely believed, as he says in verse 14, in the friendship of the Lord. He believed that God is good and upright. Those who walk God's paths taste his steadfast love and faithfulness, as he puts it in verse 10. So refusing to trust in his own strength or craftiness, David humbly asked for the help that only God can give. And David's requests reveal an important principle. Times of trouble can help us learn to follow God. To put it differently, trials are excellent teachers. When we're floundering then, we should ask God for knowledge of his ways, believing that God teaches the humble his way. David was surely humbled by the attacks of his enemies. Once, remember, all Israel sang David's praises. Now, he says in verse 19, I have many foes. So David prays for deliverance. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted, he prays in verse 17. David knows that he isn't worthy of God's love. It's God's integrity that will preserve him, not his own. David's a sinner who needs mercy. And so his most humbling request is for forgiveness. He puts it this way in verse 11 and 18. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Forgive all my sins. David's closing plea is a beautiful summary of the psalm. Verse 22 says, Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Sinners cast themselves into a state of misery. Our only hope is that God will buy us back, and the gospel promises that he will. Psalm 25 of David, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exalt over me. Indeed, none who wait for you shall be put to shame. They shall be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is the man who fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. His soul shall abide in well-being, and his offspring shall inherit the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Bring me out of my distresses. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. 
May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles.